What's up? Big Herc 916. Positivity, motivation. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share the channel. You can go to BigHerc916.com and pick you up a bar of soap so you can wash that ass. Some of y'all need that butt naked scrub because your butt's never been scrubbed properly. Do it right. Man, um, you know, I, I, I look at some of the stuff on social media and it, it's kind of comedic in a sense when you see how uh, they have men portrayed as weenies or, or uh, acting very meek like it's it's wrong to be a strong man. And what I mean by that isn't going around beating people up, bullying people, doing a hundred push-ups. I'm just talking about strong in the sense of knowing who you are and not being an emotional bitch. Being able to have a conversation and not getting uh, your feelings hurt. Understanding that Unless you put in the work, you're not going to get results. Life is not going to give you anything because you feel sorry for yourself, because you feel that you were wronged, because of your skin color, because of where you're from. It gives you exactly what you put in. You put in work, you get results. You don't put in work, you'd be a lazy fat ass, plain and simple. There's nothing wrong with having have went through life facing challenges, overcoming adversity, playing tackle football as a kid, scraping your knee, jumping off a ramp on your dirt bike, um, boxing in the park with boxing gloves, um, going fishing, you know, learning how to do little things that Sometimes the result isn't always the result you want. You might go fishing, might not catch a fish, man. Might go hunting with your dad. You might not, you might not shoot nothing that day. You might, you might miss. You might not find that um, that game you were looking for. But you're participating and you're learning that without effort, there's no results. I remember playing Little League Baseball and I played on my stepdad's team. My stepdad, you know, in my opinion, was an asshole. But, you know, I played on the team nonetheless and um, I was one of the best kids on the team. I, you know, baseball, I was kind of, I don't know, I ain't gonna lie, sometimes, you know, trying to catch the ball, I was a little bit intimidated of that little ball. And I wasn't uh, very confident, so I played the outfield. But you know, I had some of my moments, you know, a little double here, a, a good catch here. And um, I remember we went and played in a tournament and I lived in the Bay Area and we played in a tournament in Morgan Hill. And um, I was in like right field and these damn bastards, man, they were hitting that ball out there, man. And um, I don't know, I couldn't see the ball. I, I was bad judgment. You know, baseball, like I said, it, I, I could throw a ball pretty decent, but I wasn't, you know, a very great catcher when it came to catching fly balls and all that stuff. So, you know, I had my moments. But um, yeah, man, um, the ball kept going over my head and they would, you know, these dudes were getting, uh, they were getting home runs, you know? And I felt like, Wow, man, I'm just, I'm a loser, man. I can't, I, if I catch these balls, everybody's out, but I, I can't catch these balls. I caught maybe one out of three or four, but these dudes, they kept hitting it over there. They knew, you know, oh man, hit it over there. And then I think I got pulled out, somebody else played. And I wasn't mad to sit on the bench at that time because I knew that the better players should be in that position. But um, that's something I had to learn in life, man. And it's like, you know, it didn't make me uh, break down and, and feel like, hey, you know, um, life's not fair. It's just, I wasn't great in that position. 
Now give me the football. I'll run it up the middle. I'll do some Barry Sanders shit. I'll run your ass over. I'll, I'll sidestep. You know, it don't matter how big you are. I'll, I'll hit you and bounce off you. I, I, that was my game. I loved that. I love running the ball. I love going up the middle. We all have a purpose and we all have a talent. And because so many of you now have been programmed to not, to not uh, uh, strive for anything, you're never going to even come close to fulfilling your potential here on this earth. Because if you're alive, if you weren't aborted, you weren't skeeted in some condom, and you can hear this, then there was a purpose in you being here. We're all, we all have a purpose. If, if, if it's not like you're, you're, you're worthless, you're, you're worth something if you've made it to this point and you're able to comprehend and acknowledge life. A lot of people don't have that. A lot of people, a lot of, out of all those sperm cells that made it into the egg, a lot of them didn't make it, but you did. So find your purpose. Your purpose is not to be a weenie. There's nothing wrong with being a strong man or a strong woman. Take your place in society, put in your work, and man, you'll get your blessings, man. That's all I can say. There's blessings out there for all of us. A lot of you guys just aren't pursuing them like you should, and you're feeling sorry for yourself, man. Don't feel sorry for yourself. Go get it. Big Herc 916. Go to BigHerc916.com and purchase you a bar of soap, one of the books I've written, a hat, a beanie, a t-shirt, tank top, or some detail spray for your car. Hello, my name is Big Herc 916 and I'm with the Wash Your Ass Committee and I'm traveling across America helping people wash their ass and get their booty holes clean. And I have with me here today Wash your ass soap, and this one in particular is Butt Naked Scrub, but I also have Festival, Oatmeal Milk and Honey, You're Making Me Crazy, um, Monkey Farts, and all these scents smell very good. They will help cleanse your body of funk and also make you feel better about yourself. So if you can go to BigKirk916.com, you can pick you up a bar, and my goal is to help America combat funk. Stop walking around with a crusty butt, smelly ball sack, and a funky hoo-ha. Big Herc said wash that ass. Pick you up a t-shirt at freshhouseseries.com.